Psychic here from Inside the Square. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can change the logo for your Brian Squarespace website on a single page, not affecting the other pages on your website. Now, before we dig into any of these codes, it's super important to note this tutorial is for Brian websites built in Squarespace 7. If you're using the latest version of Squarespace known as 7.1, I have a completely different tutorial for you. A link is in the description below. But if you're in the Brian theme family on that older version of Squarespace, you're in the right place. Now what we're gonna do today is upload the image to the custom files section of your site, and then we're gonna replace part of the code listed in the description below with the URL for your image. After that, I'd love to show you how you install it on a single page using either page header code injection or a code block. Now it sounds a little complicated, but honestly it's three simple steps to get this one taken care of. So let's hop into my demo site and I'll show you exactly how it works. So here we are in my demo site, and the first thing we need to do is upload that alternative logo image. So I'm gonna to navigate to design, and then scroll down to custom CSS. You'll notice at the very bottom of my CSS panel here, it says manage custom files. I'm gonna click on that, and just drag and drop the new image into the custom files section. Now the next thing we're gonna do is take this line of code right here, which is listed in the description below, and I'm just gonna paste it right here into my custom CSS. Now this part right here where it says URL goes here, we're gonna remove that. I just hit the backspace button on my keyboard. I'm gonna click the custom files option here and just click on the image we uploaded. And check it out, we now have a new image in replace of that older logo. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take this code right here and I'm just gonna press Control X because we don't want that to happen on every single page. I'll select save and refresh this page so we'll go back to the way that we were before. There we go, now we can see the old logo. Then what we're gonna do is hop into the page header code injection and install this exact same code between style brackets like that. Let me show you exactly how we do that. I'm gonna hop out of here. I'm gonna navigate to pages and then select the gear icon for the page I want to change. Now under the advanced option here for this page, I have page header code injection. At the time of recording this, this is only available for business and commerce plans. If you're on a personal plan, stick with me. I've got one trick that you can still use to change your logo on a single page. But if you're in business and commerce, this is where we're gonna start. I'm going to add the word style between those two little caret brackets because in your page header, you can have different types of code and I need to make sure the browser knows this is a style code. This is CSS we're about to use. All I'm gonna do after that is press Control V to paste the code that we had in our custom CSS. It's the code that replaces the your URL here with the URL for our image and has all that other fun stuff for us. I'll select save. And now what we're gonna do, we're on our main page, let's navigate to alternative logo and check it out, the alternative logo is there. Here's our original and here's the page with the different logo. Now, if you're not using a business or commerce plan, you're on a personal plan, we can still do this. I'm gonna hop back into that settings option under advanced and I'm just gonna cut that whole code out of there, pressing control X on my keyboard because I'm using a PC. Anyway, we'll select save. And now we're gonna add that same code as a code block. I'll select edit in this page content here. And right here at the very top, it doesn't matter where on the page you are, I'm gonna click the little droplet, and just type in the word code. There we go. Now I'm gonna replace this hello world with the whole code that we had before, again, using those style brackets, because I can use any type of code in here. I wanna make sure the browser knows this is a style code. I'll select apply and select save. And check it out, we have the alternative logo. This is our main page with the main logo for our site. This is the alternative logo from an on-page code block. Alrighty, that's it for this quick tutorial today. Again, the steps that you're gonna wanna follow, upload that image to your custom files under Design, Custom CSS, Manage Custom Files. Then you're gonna wanna use the code that's in the description below and replace URL goes here with the URL for the image that you just uploaded. And then after that, placing that code between those style brackets that I can't paste in a YouTube description, but those style brackets that I showed you, you're gonna wanna paste that code in either the page header code injection for your single page, that's under the page settings menu and then advanced, or if you're using a personal subscription plan for Squarespace, 
on the page itself, hop into edit mode and add a code block and paste the code there, okay? That's it for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something awesome. And most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you like this tutorial, you'll love my CSS cheat sheet. With over 30 pages of pro tips and code snippets specific for Squarespace, you can customize your site way beyond your design menu. Download your copy today at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.